You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry. Minor Family Dentistry would like to bring you the following dental health tip. It's recommended to have a dental checkup no later than your child's first birthday. An adult should brush for a young child and monitor older children's brushing to ensure a good job is done. Flossing should start when teeth are touching. Minor Family Dentistry wishes you good dental health. Families, including children of all ages, are welcome. Minor Family Dentistry, 1010 Downing and Hayes. Find them in the next tech directory. Hello, and welcome to You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. My name is Dana Stanton, and I'm the coordinator for the West Central Kansas Smart Start program. And today we're going to talk about siblings classes. And with me today, I have Lori Staub. Welcome, Lori. Welcome. Um, my name is Lori Staub. I am a licensed practical nurse at Hayes Medical Center. I work in the pediatrics department and also um, postpartum in OB. Thank you for being here. Now, we also have some other people with us here today. We have Michelle Peters, we have Jenny, we have Avery and her little ones, and they're going to do some demonstrations for us. Um, but Lori and I are going to talk a little bit more about the program. So let, let's, first of all, what is a siblings class? Sibling class is a preparation class that we hold for um, children who will be having an addition to their family. Um, we discuss the pregnancy in terms that kids can understand mm -hmm. um, and we also help make things easier for them uh, for when the new baby comes. We especially stress that each child has a place in the family and that no one can replace them um, and their... Once the new baby yeah, gets there. Yeah, once the new baby gets yeah. there. Yeah, I know that would be very stressful. I know when we got new siblings in our family, that's stressful for the older children. Now, what kind of things do you teach at the siblings class? What do you teach the children? We teach them um, what to expect when the baby comes. Mm -hmm. um, we use books and videos and art projects and mm -hmm. things like that and discussion to help mm -hmm. them. Now, Jenny over here, she is doing, now what, can you explain what she's doing for us? Um, we do a heart project during the class, um, and what that is is they get a construction paper heart mm -hmm. and we take their picture and in the center of the heart we will put their picture and then they decorate it. Mm -hmm. um, and then when the mom comes in to deliver we put their heart on the door of their room so that they can find mom's room Aww. and it kind of makes it special for them. Um, right now the kids aren't allowed to come into the hospital so we still... Why, why, is, that, why is that? Uh, with the Flu, flu that's yeah. going around, they would prefer that children under mm -hmm. 12 aren't allowed in the hospital, especially back in the OB department with all the new babies. Mm -hmm. so. Now, do, uh, you know, say it wasn't in the flu season, do the children get to see where mom's going to have the baby and where new brother or sister yes. will be born? Once we get past the um, flu season, they should be allowed to come back in and we'll do tours with them and show them where mom's going to have the baby and mm -hmm. so that they're not afraid of the hospital setting. Now, what about, I know with, uh, it's always a concern when you have a big brother or big sister and they get a new newborn infant in their family. Um, do you do anything teaching them how to be careful around the baby or handle the infant, anything like that? Yeah. We talk about what babies need, like food, sleep, love. We also show them how to handle the baby, such as helping mom wrap the baby, helping mom feed the baby, changing their diapers, mm -hmm. things like that. Now, I, I know one of the things that we always talk about is making sure your hands are clean or anything like, you know, things like that. Do you talk about that with the children? Yeah, um, since hand washing is the number one way to prevent spread of germs and infection, we teach them how to hand, do hand washing. Mm -hmm. um, we use the happy birthday song. We have them sing that with us as they're washing their hands, and it takes about 20 seconds and that's how long you should wash your hands. So that's good for everybody, just, yeah. just not the siblings, good yeah. for everybody. Everybody can yeah. do it that way, yeah. Now, what about, um, is there anything that you would teach the parents at the classes? Um, we teach them how to help with the new adjustment. Um, we give them ideas on uh, how to welcome the baby into the family along with the child, uh, and it can help ease everybody into the new adjustment. Mm -hmm. We do give them a list of things that they could projects that they could do with the kids at home and stuff like mm -hmm. that to help them out. Mm -hmm. I would think anything they could do to get the family ready for the new mm -hmm. baby, just not the, the, the siblings. Yeah. Now, why is the siblings class important? 
Um, according to the American Academy on Pediatrics, the sibling, sibling class is preparation for children. It's essential in their healthy transitions. Mm -hmm. And the University of Michigan health system actually also teaches the same topics and issues that we go over. Um, and this helps make it easier and decrease the risk of regression and aggressive behavior among the siblings. Now, in this area, if you are interested in having or having your child and you and your child attend a siblings class, where would they go? Who would they contact? Um, they can contact the OB department. Do you want me to give them a phone yeah, number? Yeah, please give them a phone number. Seven eight five six two three five two zero zero, and one of our um, health unit coordinators there can take down the information, and she will help you decide which month is the best month for you. We do them every other month, um, usually the second or third Sunday of the month. Um, and so we usually recommend you wait until you're in your last trimester before you come. Um, but it really doesn't matter which month you come in. Mm -hmm. But they will take down your information and a phone number and we will send a letter out a week or two before with all the information mm -hmm. for them. Okay. Is there any cost? No. It's free of charge. It's free of charge. Free of charge. Now we also, we have one of our moms whose child ha children have been to the siblings class, and that's Avery. Avery, now we're gonna, I'm going to get to ask you some questions now. Thank you, first of all, for being with us. Um, now what made you decide to sign your children up for the class? Well, my husband and I thought it would be good to um, take the kids to a class where there would be other children having new babies in their family. And um, we thought it would be good to have somebody um, explain to them how to care for a baby and how to um, hold a baby and, and um, be very careful with a baby, other than just us telling them. Yes. Now, how, how did that work for you? I mean, did it smooth your transition? Did it help prepare them for... for having a new baby in the family? It was very good because once we got home they um, they knew how to to hold the baby and they they were comfortable and the the heart project that they had made um, they were very excited to give to the baby um, so that they had a reason to be excited mm -hmm. you know other than just there's somebody taking up space in our house now they were excited to give him a present mm -hmm. and yeah. so it worked out very well. Yes. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations thank on the newest you. member of thank your you. family. Thank you, everyone. You've been watching You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. And parents, remember, you're your child's first and best teacher. Thank you. Thanks for watching You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You can watch the program weekdays in the noon and nine o'clock hours. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry.